Hey, babe. What? Working on some edge banding on our cabinets. So the edges of the cabinets are just exposed plywood, so I'm applying some banding to give it a finished look. Don't mind that, that'll be hidden by the drawers. Plus everything will be painted and hopefully they'll look nice when we're done. So we're switching it up today. I'm going to attempt to make some drawers. We need three of them. Good luck. Jared's trying to get rid of this mess for the door. Good luck. One hour later. This is again from our office. Oh, we yes. have two wings. But we study. This is a they study fly. This is the fruit fly group that we there. I, I... So how do you cut the wood? Do you have a? It's a small one. Yeah. I'm looking for a smaller one. That's why. Yeah, this one's battery operated. Yeah, oh, I got see. Got that so. at Home Depot. See? Home Depot. Oh, okay. How much did you pay for this? I think we got it in a pack with other tools. Oh, I see. Okay. That's like a hundred something. Oh, I see. That's okay. pretty cheap. Yeah. Okay. Fine. The batteries are the most expensive. I know, I know. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I made. Yeah, it's your or fault. Or it's yours. It could be yours. No, I think it's your fault. Let's measure it. <laughs> no, don't measure it. Seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. Yeah, measure your box. Well, wait, look. Look. Look at this. I don't know. They're probably both wonky. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't just measure mine and then not measure yours. Let me measure How are you your measuring box. the bottom? It's seven. Three quarters and a tick. I don't know how you measure that. Seven. You left no gap. Three quarters. I left a tick. A tick? <laughs> which is like a sixteen? I would have left like an eighth at least. You didn't leave an eighth on that side. What'd I leave? So you got all this out, huh? Yep. Get out of my way. It's all gone. Wow. Now we can't close our door. Nope. <laughs> we'll figure it out. That's what we do. We do and then figure out later. So we've spontaneously started working on the door. Our idea is to attach these two doors so that we have one door that hinges on one side. No, oh, this side, right? Yep. Hinges on that side. And then we have a handle and a locking mechanism so we can lock it from the outside and open it from the outside as well. So that's the next project. You want it? Okay. Yes. 
You want to talk about our reconciliation drinks? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> we were getting pretty cranky. I think we're just getting a little overwhelmed with everything that still needs done. And it's hot. It's very hot. And so we were just getting a little cranky with each other. So sometimes a little reconciliation drink is necessary. Necessary evil. Should also add that this door project was not on our list of things that needed done before the end of March, which is when we hope to be done with the bus. It was on my list. It's all because we took out this handle system. Or it's one of those things where we did this, so we had to do this, so we had to do this, so we had to do this, so we have to do this. A squared plus B squared equals Z squared. No, nothing like that. <laughs> so that's why I was getting overwhelmed, is because it's one more thing we have to do, and we still have so many other things that need done. So I'm working on insulating these two windows right now because they're gonna be blocked off. This will be our kitchen area. But the insulation is pretty reflective and I don't want it to show from the outside. So I'm just painting it black so it kind of blends in with the bus a little bit. So to show you the difference between the reflective side and the dark side, I have uh, the insulation in this wall, but I painted it black and you can't really tell between like there's nothing behind this glass here. Um, that one we can look, we'll be able to look out from inside the bus. This one's insulated and then this one has a silver reflective that's not painted on this window. And I don't like how that looks. I understand the reflective is supposed to reflect heat. I don't care. I want it black. I don't want you to be able to see it. Do you get it? Yeah. Ah, it's been severed. No going back now. You know, this is probably really dangerous. <laughs> Someone threw magnets in with our razor blades and drill bits. And yeah. now it's just a ball of death. death. <laughs> That's safe. Yeah, it's fine. Throw it back in. <laughs> Do you hear him snorting? Yeah. There he is. Is it even real? another box. Nice. I made drawers. Now I gotta attach the freaking movie things. Uh, the slides. The slides. The movie things. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. This is not messy at all. Cool. Dude, we have a door. There's a leaf in the background. I like it. It's raining for the first time in over a month, so we're just coming in here to see if there's any leaks anywhere. I just sealed our last exposed holes today, so I guess that was good timing. 
Test drive? All right. Jared's just been itching to take it for a little test drive. It hasn't been driven in a while. Just gotta make sure it still drives. Yeah. Uh-oh. Had water coming in there. Did Yeah. Out of the way, chicken. These birds have no fear. I'm back to insulating the bus. Very tedious job because I so desperately don't want to waste anything. So then the insulating game kind of turns into Tetris. As you can see, I start with a big piece and then I take a piece of scrap and shove it in there. Smaller pieces until it eventually Ah, wait. There. Beautiful. Making progress. Look at those. Got all those uppers framed. And then over here, little storage compartment over the dining table where that's gonna be. So my drawers turned out good. Already using them. I even installed the slides. Yes, they slide. It'll just be easier with a handle. Look at that. Nice. I've left this box here for a week, waiting for this moment. I'm surprised you didn't get in it sooner. It's perfect.